Welcome to San Francisco's G News, where you get all of your gay in just one day. We bring you the top LGBT stories from the left coast and around the globe. With a unique perspective only our gay bubble can provide. Tube in every week and keep in the know on the latest trends, hot topics, and who's messing with your human rights now. So join us with your hosts, Celsa Goulet and Lisa Cohen. Get all your gay in just one day. From the city by the bay with San Francisco's G News. This week on G News, Attorney General Loretta Lynch sticks it to North Carolina. Laura Croft as a man. A super special out and about. Plus our crush of the week. All this gay coming your way. Right here on G News. Nothing against the bottoms, but this segment is all about the tops. Discrimination is proving costly for North Carolina. Oh, North Carolina. They have lost $80 million from events just in Charlotte alone. Oh, but wait, there's more to come. Big business is packing its bags and going, you know what? We're taking our jobs, our money, and your economy with us. That's gonna be long-term loss. Oh my goodness. The federal government is threatening to take away $4.5 billion that they don't really give to them. Right out of their pockets. All over urine. Piss. <laughs> Bathrooms, it's ridiculous. Lock the damn door and keep your money, mm -hmm. but no, hey. Well, the new suit that the Attorney General Loretta Lynch has filed has us saying, North Carolina, you You're in trouble, trouble girl. girl. North Carolina filed a suit against the federal government accusing them of baseless and blatant overreach. The federal government responded with a suit of their own, charging that North Carolina had a pattern or practice of employment discrimination on the basis of sex, and that they created state-sponsored discrimination against transgender individuals. And to this... North Carolina Governor Pat McCroy said, y'all being a bunch of bullies. Government's a bully. I love Laura Croft. Oh, she's amazing. I want to be Laura Croft when I grow up. I want to be her sidekick. <laughs> she doesn't have a sidekick. Maybe I want to be Angelina Jolie. Maybe that's the whole thing. Oh. No, it's not. I love, <laughs> I love Angelina Jolie as Laura Croft. Because Laura Croft, that character's cool. Yeah, she's great. Yeah. She's badass, actually. Well, it's pretty much gay nirvana. You've got Angelina Jolie, who's hot. hot. And then Laura Croft, who's hot, hot. right? Mm -hmm. Well, they're going to do another movie. Angelina's not signed on for it. There's going to be a new Laura Croft. What, is she busy? She's got, she's got Brad. And she's a director. You know. <laughs> she's got, what, 100 kids. Oh, yeah. She's a little busy. <laughs> so Alicia Vikander is going to oh. be the new Laura Croft. Is she going to have a sidekick? She's not going to have a sidekick, no. But it has us thinking, mm. still could be better. Right? What could make it better? What if it wasn't Laura Croft? What if it was Lawrence Croft? Well, artist Ulysses 0302 has done all the heavy lifting and hard thinking for us, hasn't he? Hard thinking. <laughs> I bet you were hard thinking. He no. has reimagined Laura as Lawrence. Check it out. I like the shot from the rear. You like the rear shot. Who doesn't yeah. like a good tuchus? Oh my stars. Look at those shorts. Aren't those the best shorts ever? He needs a sidekick. <laughs> sidekick is the, are there shorts? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see them on there? Or the lion. The lion in the picture is the sidekick. Oh my god, I miss the lion. I know. At least it's like there's a lion. Yeah. I like his reimagining of Lawrence. He did a really good that's job. A, that's really hot. But I, I, I still like Lara Croft. So what if they were a brother-sister team? Powerful. Right? Mm. They wouldn't have our superpower. <laughs> Can't have that, Laura. Is that your heart beating? No, it's our crush of the week. Well, darling, we've talked about this a lot. Dreams do come true. It's true. And I know you've looked up at the stars and said, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. And guess what? What? It came true. It did. Yes, it did. If you wish long and hard enough, they come true. And what happened, honey? Colton Haynes is gay! <laughs> He was like, oh my God! I'm like, what? Literally a dream come <laughs> true. Like, I, I was like, I wish he was gay. I wish he was gay. He's so cute. <laughs> he's so cute and he's so smart and he's so sensitive and he's so amazing and talented. And I was like, oh, if he was only gay. He is. <laughs> he just came out recently to Entertainment Weekly. Yes, he, he did an article for them in which he said, I think in due time, everyone has to make those decisions when they're ready. I feel like I was letting people down by not coming forward. But this is particularly important and powerful to me because it's Colton and he's wow. out. And so my dream has come true. 
But literally, anytime somebody comes out, I it's so monumental because what it took for you to get to that place took a lot of internal work. It took a lot of internal struggle and conversation with yourself to come to that point in your life where you can stand up and strongly say, this is me and this is how I want to live my life moving forward. I, I'm now going to be honest. It's hard to get there. Oh, I, I, I so, actually cannot imagine. So It's yeah. truly magical and I, I'm just so, I'm so happy for you, Colton, and so yeah. proud. And anybody who's watching, no pressure. You come out in your own time. But I tell you, it's an amazing thing when it happens. So I, I hope that it happens to you soon. So congratulations, Colton. For so many obvious reasons, he's so beautiful. I'm so glad he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Colton Haynes is again our crush of the week. Just, Just look, look at him. him. It's that time. Let's go out and about in San Francisco. You're probably wondering why we are wearing these fantastic outfits. Aren't we snazzy? I love I love tuxedo shirts. This is kind of cool. This is my first time in a tuxedo shirt. Not enough shirt, people wear them. The little frilly. I love them. We're wearing these shirts because we have a super super special out and about that we're going to be doing. We're leaving the studio again. again. <laughs> <laughs> but this time, we're not just going to go to an event. We were asked to be at the event. I was like, who us? I know. Oh my gosh. So honored. David Carver Ford, he's been on our show before. You remember him, the Wig, Wig Whisperer. Whisperer. We love him. <laughs> I love you, David. Well, he has a new kind of endeavor he's doing with the same benefit that he's been working with before, Wigs for Kids, which makes wigs for kids that are losing their hair to do all kinds of different il illnesses, cancer, mm -hmm. alopecia. And we helped him with this fundraiser because he wants a brick and mortar, a little space, a salon, just for the children to come in and try out the wigs and be fitted and have a space that's just for them. So cute. Yes. I can't, oh my God, it's, it warms my heart. How I mean, cute is that? What a great idea. Well, it takes money. Yes, it does. Yes. Lots so, hence the fundraiser. He asked us to be there. We were so honored. How could we say no? The kids, David Carver, oh my goodness. Well, that's it for this week's G News, the only show where you get all of your gay in just one day with your hosts, Celsa Dulay and Lisa Cohen. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And of course, subscribe. Ow! That way you will never miss an episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next week. Bye. Action! <laughs> Airplane. Wow. Drink. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> Even your glass is colder and frostier. I'm just better. You are. I don't know how he does that. Sorry, one sec. Um, can you get a little closer to him, Lisa? You never let me get closer. That's better. Okay. Yeah, okay. Go can ahead. you do me <laughs> Rolling. Action. Don't um, bump your cup like, I know you're not used to them, but it's making noise. I didn't even... And don't smile. And don't, don't cross your legs. And don't get close to salsa. Don't have a toy. Stop, stop breathing. <laughs> Poor Lisa. And then they put me in a ruffle shirt and say, don't move. <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh, I learned how to do cufflinks. <laughs> Sorry, I just have to throw that in there. It's important. It yeah. was a great lesson. I didn't realize that you'd never worn cufflinks like... before. Oh. <laughs> yuck, 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 Why yuck, do yuck, people yuck, do yuck. that to do that? <laughs> 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 We're going to set this house on fire. <laughs>